Hi everyone, Mikey Bly here, and today we are beginning our journey through Lenore's Birth Night, which is a game by the enigmatic Andrea Pignataro. Oh my word, made some of the best games I have played here. Like some of the most like off the wall, out of left field, just super imaginative titles. And this one, I have to apologize to Andrea because I've been sitting on it for longer than I should have. But I just, I, a big whole bunch of things, right? I'm uploading this video as a week now. I, I had a huge backlog before this, but I am happy to finally be here to play this. It looks super interesting. Look at this. There's like a map. Is this a map? It's like a grid I guess this is Lenore here, on the right, potentially. And these are like, the, there's the A, B, C, D on the side, like to move to places. There's binding levels, there's stones, there's abilities that are locked. Here's a little map at the top left. Uh, a compass, uh, it's, it's like what even... This is like, this looks like a whole bunch of things just smushed together and I am so excited to just be completely shit and stupid at this game. But hey, this is, this is how we start. Welcome to this old world. If you want to know about your future, foresee it. Talk or listen. Examine. Examine A1. North. There's nothing here. Places are faded memories. Is there anything to interact with? I hope this won't go away. Can we listen? There's no one here. Voices that will never be. Okay, so... This is A1 then. This is a blank space where we start. And you can see, I guess, every square has a north, a south, an east and a west. A1 looks empty. A1 looks like there's nothing here. But me, can we move? How do we move? Like, without moving whole grid sections, can we just click the compass? I don't think we can. I don't think we can actually click on the compass. I think we've just got to... Oh, we can. We can turn. We can do this. Hello. Oh. A binding strand I can add to my binding level. Oh, well, I already, it's already maximum, isn't it? Taking this strand did not increase my back. Yes, because it's already full. Okay, gotcha. So that's probably handy to keep that. And maybe go back there if you need it. it doesn't look like there's anything else. So can we now move to like a two? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this is so awesome. I love this. Alright, let's examine... Let's examine this. There's a dead campfire near a big stitched wound. Oh shit, that is a wound! Fuck, for a second I was like, is that just a, like a, a well, a grave? Oh, is that blood in that? Interact? Uh, hanging over the campfire, a small pot full of blood. It is blood! Oh! The separating wound says that a cup is among worms. Can I interact again? No. Do I need an item or an ability maybe to do something about that? Okay, well that might be something to come back to. Let's hop over to A3. Uh, wait a minute. Excuse me, what's going on there? Three covered corpses are hanging from an old wall. Well, that's what I thought was happening. I guess that just got confirmed for me, but there's no more context there. One of them seems to have lost their foot. Slightly. Uh, interact, can I? I can't unhook them, they are too high up for me. Oh, but what if we had something that was going to help us reach for them? 
Hmm? Who did this to you? The middle one says... Time. Time? Curse you, time! Is time one of the bosses that we have to beat the shit out of? Damn it, time! We'll show you. Okay, there's another binding thing, I think. Wait, let me just check. A binding strand. I wonder if I need to make notes about where stuff is. For now, let's not. Let's not go there yet, but we might need to at some point. What's here on A4? A puddle of something by the looks of it. What is it? Some spilled milk on the ground. It's sour. Right. Puddle of sour milk has a creamy consistency. Well, don't stick your finger in it. I'm sorry, I know. I'm the one that clicked interact. It's all on me. I get it. I'm the one that... I Look. Ooh. Splish blosh. I hear Mashana yielding to a demonic request. Right. There's so much more to look at here. We're only on A4. There's so many squares. And I just realized that... Oh, they're, they're, they're red strands as well. Like the binding. Interesting. A5. So what's the deal here? It looks like there's like doors. Yeah. Oh, there's another binding strand. I don't need any. I haven't used any yet. I'm assuming there's a... There's an order to maybe go to certain squares in, rather than explore them all from bottom up like I'm doing. But it's something that probably, it obviously requires more than one playthrough to figure all of this stuff out. Let's examine. I see a silence gate here. Interact to go through? Oh. Tell me, gate, who am I? The gate does not answer. Because it's a silence gate. Of course it's not going to answer you. It's shush. Silence. Keep it down a little bit. Go through. Does that just loop? Does that just warp us to another one of the spots here? Or is there another whole place to go up beyond this? A6. A strand? Yeah, there's a strand. Don't need it though. A7. Another strand there. What's this? There are three... Three stacked wooden boxes here. Right. Something in them. The boxes are nailed shut. They're heavy and greasy. Why would the box be greasy? What? Either they've got greasy contents or somebody greasy was handling them. A voice from the top box says, I'm a trapped river. A greasy river? A greasy river? Right. Eight, eight it is then. Looks like there's something big here. What? There's a deep bay with very dark waters. That's what it is. It's a bit, really? These waters are extremely cold to the touch. Oh! Three lights shine into the sea and say, Kayans. Kayanse? Kayanse! Hmm. These are clues to things. But I think we need to find something first, because at the moment there's nothing to pick up. There's like nothing to. We haven't got any abilities yet. We haven't got into any altercations yet. Uh, there's something waiting somewhere to happen. Ooh, an orb. Hi, orb. Is it a magic eight ball? Are you going to tell me what to do? Outlook is bleak. Shit, that's what I expected. Big round stone with a triangular hole. Stick your finger in it. Deep inside the hole, there are razor-like teeth. Okay, don't stick your finger in it. The sphere of pain lets out a grieving shriek. Wonderful. Okay, well, out of the for, for the sake of curiosity and posterity, shall we try and go through this gate and see where it goes? Oh, I need a silence stone. Oh. Right, well, B1 looks like it might have some kind of stone 
ish thing on it. Oh, maybe not. It's not. Well, I don't know. Maybe. What is it? There's a well-cut stone on the ground. It glows. Ooh. Well, what is it? The stone is too heavy to move and too big to carry. What the hell? My voice resonates inside the stone. It sounds evil. Well, if it's my voice, does that mean I'm evil? Or do I just sound evil? Because you could sound really despicable and mean, but be actually a super soft guy on the inside. It's totally possible. You never know. There's another binding. I haven't had to do any binding yet, and I don't know what... I don't know how... So we need the stones for each gate then. We need four stones for each. We need one for each gate. But one of the gates looks broken. So that's probably not good. Okay, that's another binding thing. Again, don't need it yet. Oh. And another one. What's this? A column smeared with blood. Bones are here too. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Pick a bone up. The bones are heavier than they look, barely movable. What the f what kind of bones are they? Mastodon bones? Murmurs of waiting fill my ears. It's the ham- what the heck? The hamistigan? Hamistigan? This is the thing with Andrea's stuff. It's like, this. what I mean. It's so off the wall, but it's so intriguing. All of his games just suck you in and you cannot escape them. You just have to keep pushing because it's like what is i need to i need to keep going i need to i need to explore this okay there's no there's another binding thing here so that's good to know there's one there there's one that there's so many around here okay what's oh interesting five flagged spears and a dead three-headed serpent i didn't even see the serpent there I didn't even click what it was at first. I was like, it's spears stuck in, like, just the ground. All the spears are firmly stuck. I, there's nothing I can do yet. The dead serpent says, Who killed me was never born. Who killed me was never born. The game's called The Norse Birth Night. It's not birthright, did you notice? It's birth night. Is this our struggle to be born? Is this what we experienced before we were born? God, that would be a trip, wouldn't it? You start off with a game, right to begin with. Ooh, okay, creepy tree. Add another one of those. This tree looks scared. I see a stone in its mouth. Uh, it might numb my hand. I try to take the stone, but the tree growls at me. Okay. Why are you afraid of me? The tree remains silent. Is that the silent stone then? I think the silent arch was purpley because there was a little symbol on it. If we go back to A5 quickly. Where are we right now? B6. Hang on. A5. Yeah, purple. See what I mean? Hmm. B7. Looks like a cage of some description. A long empty cage on the ground. It's open. Could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what was caged. Will it help us or will it kill us? Inside the cage, there's only some S-shaped straw. What the? Oh, I hear a man coyly freeing the Savara from its cage. What's a Savara? It's like, the, 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 so, there's references to things. It's either stuff that I just don't know because it's like too away from my knowledge base. Or it's stuff that just Andres just thought up. And like... That's another amazingly intriguing part of these games. I don't know. This looks like another... No, wait, there's something in the corner. A lantern? An old oil lamp looks empty. Too rusty to be opened, it's stuck. Hmm. The lamp says its light roars to all... Omar's throne. Hmm. So it used to be super shiny and bright, but it's not anymore. Do we need some oil? Oil? Do we need some oil? We can get some oil. Oh, hi. Um, What's the deal with you? 
Two scary four-eyed dogs are guarding a bridge. Well, they might be scary, but maybe they just want a hug. Maybe they just want some attention. Ooh. As I try to pass through, the dogs start growling. Of course they do. The dogs say, I can't cross the chin ward, unlike Wiraz. Okay, so we've done A and B and we've uncovered nothing yet. No, wait, I'm not ready. I'm doing this one, I'm doing this methodically. One block at a time. A door. A closed door in an open ground. It's very ornate. It is, actually. It looks very, very, very intricately carved. <gasps> I opened it! Oh! Oh! I don't hear anything when the thick door is closed. Okay. A gloomy wind is howling amidst this barren scape. We can just keep... View of a hill on a sunny day. Ah, huh, I can hear cicadas singing and children playing. Okay. The door wants review of a sand desert at night. Hmm. This desert is so quiet I hear myself breathing. A view of an erupting volcano. Oh. So deep it shakes my feet. Wasn't there another one? The door wants review of a wasteland at dusk. Sorry. Ooh. Can we leave it like that? If we go to like C... No, wait, no. It shuts again. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. This has something as well. Some oars. Broken oars in a circle of stones. Hmm. All the looks arranged with care. Ben, not touch it. The first thing we could maybe pick up and we, and we can't. A crowd crying and cursing. Gan... Ganderabas! Ganderaba! Ganderabas wrath! <laughs> okay. Not creepy. Not creepy at all. Hi. There's an old woman with no eyes. She looks sick. Oh, that's what she is. Okay. What the? I lift the woman's robe. I see scarabs underneath. What shall I do, old lady? The woman says, wall face. Hi. My face doesn't look like a wall. That's rude. Oh, wait, no, is that a clue? Is that a clue? Is that a hint? This is what I mean. Once we've explored all of the squares, then I think we can start piecing things together because we might need to do something in one place and then go back to another place. I mean, I'm assuming that's what we need to do. Oh, I don't need to keep hitting the same letter. I could just hit six. I don't have to keep hitting the letters. I've been hitting C, five, C, you know, but I don't need to do that. I can just hit the number. Okay, that makes my life a bit easier. Okay, what's this? Some long leather-topped clubs inside a tall cage. Okay, why would you need to cage your clubs? Clubs are dangerous, but only when they're in the wrong hands, not generally on their own. This tall cage can neither be lifted nor opened, of course. I hear a cruel demon say, this will please Ariman. Do I need to know these names or not know them? Do I need to remember them for some reason? Will we need will we need this information for something? Will we? Okay. Even the nice scenery looks ominous. Looks like a mouth. Two opposing dripstones almost touching in a cave. Oh, I like that term. Dripstones. There's nothing useful in this humid cave, are you sure? Drip drop. The cave replies to words I don't say. It's my fear. Wait. Is that the cave saying it's my fear? Or is my fear that inanimate objects speak to me? Because that does seem to be happening a lot. So if that's our fear, this is not the right place to be. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got binding. Oh, it's like... 
What you call it? Plinko? Oh, this is like a gambling square. But to win binding strips. You can win binding strips. But are you gamble binding strips to get something else? I have to use 25. And that's just to get... Oh, so that's like... Is that domino? Dominoes? And that's just a spinny wheel. Oh, and if we land on the red, we lose at the 10 that we gambled. Oh, it's just a gambling square. Okay, well, I'll bear it in mind if we need any more. There's probably another one here somewhere. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, that grid's there. It's just really hard to see on the map. There's a sewer grate on the ground. It smells bad. Generally, sewers are meant to smell pretty bad. They're not meant to smell particularly inviting. This grate doesn't budge. Fix in place. Okay. My words echo back, broken and muffled by odd noises. Mm-hmm. And what have we got here? Yes, I remember. A featureless child made of wax is staring at me. How can something that's featureless be staring at me? I, I, I don't want to know the answer to that. I reach for the stick, but the child yells, Kiyomas! Yes, Kiyomas, uh-huh. The child says, my parents devoured me and my sister. Oh. Alright, it's like if Hansel and Gretel's dad had, like, a different methodology for <laughs> their, their, their income problem. Well, maybe instead of feeding them, we should just use them to feed ourselves. Um, right then. So let's go back to one and then hit up the D's, I guess. Looks like broken glass to me. Broken glass. Called it. These shards are too sharp to be handled safely. Ooh. The shards reacted to the sound of my voice. But what can we do about this particular thing? Hmm? Nothing yet, seemingly. Broken chair. Broken ladder. Okay. With blood traces around it. I see. Always make sure your ladder's fully safe and secure before you try and climb up it, otherwise shit like this is going to happen to you. Two steps of this ladder present a clean cut side. This ladder tells a story of betrayal and revenge. This ladder's seen a lot of shit. A lot more than you would expect a ladder to see. The betrayal and revenge was the betrayal... How could it be both? Someone was betrayed and then got revenge? All based around being pushed off a ladder? It's a story I wouldn't mind reading, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, not at all, Ominous. Not at all. A sleeping wolf guards a stone and so oh, that's what's happening. Okay. I can't take the stone, I might wake the wolf up. Mm-hmm. Please, wolf, let me in. My whispers go unheard. Please, wolf, let me in. Please, wolf, let me in. Oi, wolf! Get up! Three huts. Three little pigs. Three little bamboo houses. They look bleak. Those entrances are too small for me. I don't fit. I hear a feeble cry from the house on the left. Can I check the house on the left specifically? All right. Okay. Well, I, I would. I was just thinking if you could do like more than one interaction. It's like I'm, instead of just doing one one of each on each screen, we might need to do more than one at some point to do something. But I don't know yet. Still not sure what's going on here. There's lots going on. Oh, is that a wolf? Where did the artist go? 
a painting on an easel and pools of blood behind it. That could maybe the artist. <laughs> What's left of them? Whoa! Written behind the canvas. Conception of a Garzag. I do still hear the pained cries of this bloodshed. Right. Okay, then. Nothing here except maybe a binding strip. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We don't need that yet. We haven't used any yet. <gasps> Ooh, is it booze? I mean, I don't know what kind of booze is purple particularly, but if it's booze, I'll get it. Come on, get, pour me a glass. It's a broken barrel that's filled up purple liquid. I can see that. I didn't need to tell me that. The spilled liquid tastes like a thick sweet wine. It is booze. I mean, the fact that it was in a barrel should have been a bit of a giveaway. Good old keg of wine. I get a cask, perchance. I hear a man upset because the spill isn't white. Huh. Because the spill isn't white? Where? Okay. D8. Probably just a binding strip here too. Yep. D9. A golden bracelet and a torn red dress. As I touch the bracelet, I almost fit from vertigo. What? A desperate cry lingering above the dress. Huh. Oh, if you click on our faces, little smile. Yeah, that's me. You're playing as me. Right. E1. Another gate. A moon gate. None of these gates are telling me who I am. None of these gilts are interested in telling me what the deal is with my life. Let's hover on over to E2 then. This is so cool though. Every, all these different things going on and you have to link everything together somehow, right? It's that, that's it. You, this whole, this whole tapestry here, this big map has things going on that you have to piece together. I love that concept. Some skeletal remains of a dead cow. A cow, you say? Okay, if if you if if that's what you say, these bones must be very old. They feel so brittle. The cow says, "I was left alone. Only me, Goshawan." Right? Yes. Absolutely, actually, nothing here. Oh wait, no, there we go. That's weird. I feel like I looked around twice before I saw that. Four. A fountain? Looks like this fountain dried up a long time ago. Inside the pipes I find black tar clogging them. The basin vibrates as to say Perishta Shudra. Huh. I wonder if we need to get rid of the tar, get the fountain fraud again. I'm just looking at the different scenarios we've got and what we either need to find out or get past. It's like, we need to somehow get past the sleeping wolf to get the stone. We need to maybe unclog this fountain. Um, seal the cage back up, maybe. Put the thing back in the cage. Uh, there's a few. Th I'm just trying to think as we go through these. What we might need to do, a bell. A town bell, not particularly worn out. Can I bong it? This bell cannot be wrong, it's missing a clapper. Okay, so we need to find a clapper. Inside the bell, a spider is singing about Garod Garodman. It's like there's so many random names, like creatures or beings, gods perhaps. It's really got me intrigued. A broken urn? Or, like, a vessel. Crack pot made of clay. It looks empty. It looks empty. Tip it upside down and find out. 
a foul smell comes out of it. Like, dried sweat? Someone been wearing this as a shirt? Don't wear a pot as a shirt. It's not advisable. Can't be comfortable. It's beyond repair. It can't talk anymore. Ah, so inanimate objects have been talking to us quite frequently, but this one cannot. Because it is diseased, apparently. Or something like that. Two things. A produce stand full of rotten food items. Well, something will eat rotten stuff, I'm sure. Every item on the stand is soggy and malodorous. I hear people haggling and hoping for Nas's return. Nas, there you can say another name. A cold and stale meal sits on a low wooden table. What the hell? I feel something moving. In the soup and on the bread. Can I interact more than once? That's what I mean though. It's like surely there's... I hear a man refusing his meal to wait for Soshans. Okay, like a grate or something there. Also bloodstained by the looks of it or rusty. It's a ventilation grate leading underground. The grate, albeit rusty, is still quite sturdy. What the heck? A voice shouts from the deep. Beware of Afrosyab! Okay, I will. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Do you want some rotten food? There's some rotten food not far from me. I could chuck some down for you if you want some. Well, let me know. And this is another gate. A light gate. And we need the stones, right, because we've, we haven't got any stones. Alright, so we haven't explored everything yet. We've got four more... Mm, mm, we've got F, G, H and I to go through. But I think we'll stop for now. The exploration will continue next time. And I am... I'm just super excited to see what else is waiting for us. And when we can start maybe... Putting pieces of this puzzle together. There's a help menu there, but you know what? I think... Plodding through and checking all the squares first is probably a good thing to do. Um, I, I, it's one of those games where I feel like you could map this out as well separately somewhere. Like have like a some kind of document that says like all the squares, what's in them, what clues is in each square. And then you could just try and connect them together. This is a game that's just made for data nerds like me. I love it. Can't wait to see what's waiting in the other squares. Um, we haven't really achieved anything yet, but I'm going to save anyway. Whoa, ho, ho. that's such a weird save screen. It's so different to the rest of the stuff we've seen. I like that. Save process, saving process complete. The game will now resume. Thanks for your patience. It's just, I love every little thing, every little detail. Everything that Andrea puts into a game has a purpose. And I love that. There's everything here means something. And it just blows me away every time. The amount of detail and the amount of little things and quirky nuance and ah, I just love it. Uh, if you want to play Lenore's Birth Night for yourself, I will pop a link in the description below. If you want to play any of all of Andre's games, I'll just link the whole damn itch page because it just blows me away. With the, just the, the 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 amount of like, just 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 stuff, just things. So good, definitely worth checking out. Um, okay, we'll be back with Noah's birth night very soon. Uh, if you have any of the game recommendations for me, I just want a bit of a general chit chat. You can have at it in the comments as usual. Um, by the by, that'll 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 do it. I have been making bye, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning. Afternoon, evening, or night, and I will see you all next time around. Bye for now.